welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be girls and their summer clothes from Magic. Hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back, hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're gonna do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song's in the key of C major, tempo's around 112 BPM, give or take. Let's take a look at the chords first. We've got a C major chord, third finger, third fret A, middle finger, second fret D, first finger, first fret B. Okay, now if you add your little finger to the third fret of the D, drop your middle finger to the second fret G, then bar your first finger, so it plays the first fret of the, 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 um, 
the B and your E strings. We've got an F over C chord. Okay, so that's basically just saves you playing the full bar, and Bruce likes to play a lot of his chords there. So it's, it's basically an F chord. Uh, in the song structure, which I'll put up on the screen now, I have put an F over C on there. Again, any questions about the song structures? Let me know, hopefully it'll allow you to break everything down um, and see where all the repetitions are and things. Any chords in brackets means there's more than one chord in that particular bar. Uh, all the song structures will be in the description of YouTube videos. You can copy and paste it into a Word file just to break everything down. So that's your C, the F over C. Now you do G chords. So you can either play this through the first, second, and third, or often Bruce likes to play it with second, third, and fourth, sometimes even without his middle finger. So middle finger, second fret, A, second fret, uh, third finger, third fret, low E, and then third, uh, little finger, pinky on the third fret of the high E string. That's your G. And the middle eight section, um, B flat chord, okay? So bar the first fret from the A string, use your third finger, ring finger to bar the D, G, and the B strings. Okay, and then we've got an A minor, first finger, first fret B, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, second fret G. Now, um, it may well be the other instruments, definitely the strings are doing it, but there's a G sharp diminished chord, which is kind of very unusual, but sounds really good. It really causes a lot of tension between the G, as it's a really nice passing chord between the G and the A minor. Again, it may well be that the, the uh, it's more the strings and the other instruments uh, that are doing this, but I put it in there. So there's lots of ways of playing a diminished chord. Uh, I just like to play it like this. Uh, on its own, it sounds a bit naff, but in context, it sounds really nice. First finger, fourth fret, low E. Third finger, fifth fret, A. I'm kind of blocking the D string uh, with under some of my third finger, ring finger, and middle finger, fourth fret of the G. So it's a G sharp diminished chord. Very unusual to have in a lot of rock music, but. Again, sounds great in context. Okay, cool, so let's take a look at the intro first. So basically what we've got, sounds like a slightly different showing pattern than normal, but really straightforward. Uh, and again, there's another guitar part that I've tabbed out. So if you get the tabs, uh, either by, by getting codes from Subscribestar every month on the 7th, or go directly to jsmusical.co.uk and go in the shop there. Uh, if you get any of the files, either in Guitar Pro format or PDF format, it's the same files. Uh, just obviously don't only get the guitar pro format if you've got that program. It's not that expensive, it's brilliant. Okay, um, yeah, you'll get the both the acoustic part and this really cool electric picking part that is definitely on the record. Uh, so we'll get both parts. So we're just going to go through the acoustic part today. So let's just head over to the store, jsmusicscore.co.uk. And if you're getting codes via Subscribestar, that uh, allows you to go on to JS Music School, get a bit more bang for your bank on Subscribestar for extra things as well and a little bit cheaper so any questions about any of that stuff let me know okay so what we're going to be doing is down 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 up down up for the main strumming pattern throughout there's a few other exceptions so what you've got is two chord notes one two four eighth notes uh, down up down up okay so one two three and four and that's how you would strum that down 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 up down up and you do for the intro uh, you do this four bar phrase twice which is two bars of c Two, three, and four, and bar two. Then F over C, two bars. We've got that cool little string arrangement. Again, I made the backing track for this, so if you want to get that, you can get that on the shop as well. Lots of layers of strings, very well polished. Uh, obviously, I aim to do it, get it as close as I could. So, two bars of C, two bars of F, and that's a four bar phrase done twice in the intro. And now we take a look at the verses. So, the first and the second verses are the same. You've got this eight bar phrase done twice. So what you're going to do, take that same swimming pattern, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, F over C, C, down, down, up, then G, the second half of that eight bar phrase, C, F over C, then G for two bars. Cool. And obviously double check with the song structure. So that eight bar phrase is done twice in the first and the second verse. Cool, and now we're gonna go into the first chorus. So again, the, the main bulk of the rest of the band really comes in on the second verse and drums and stuff. And I think the electric guitar comes in on the first verse. So again, you can listen to the backing track um, and that one and walk through there to see how it all fits together. Really clever. So first chorus and the second chorus, you've got F. Same strumming pattern, C. Again, feel free to you know, mix up if you wanted to for a bit more variety. So F over C, 
to C three times. Then two bars of G. And you do that twice. I uh, know, just once actually, and the first and the second chorus. So it's F over C to C three times, F over C to C, F over C to C, and then two bars of G. Okay, cool. The second verse, same as the first, second chorus, same as the first chorus. And now we've got the middle eight, which is slightly different. Uh, it just sounds really nice. It's slightly um, you know, caught outside the key here as well, which is really clever. Okay, so here it sounds like there's a slightly different groove going on. So the strumming pattern I've suggested here is going to go one, two, and three, four, and. So that's one quarter note, two eighth notes, one quarter note, two eighth notes. So down, down, up, down, down, up. Counting wise, one, two, and three, four, and. So you do that two bars of B flat, one, two, and three, four, and. F, A minor for one bar, G for one bar, then C for one bar. Okay, now that eight bar phrase is done the same. The first six bars are the same and the last two are different, okay? So you start off the same, this is the second round, second eight bar phrase in the middle eight, B flat, two bars, one more bar. Over C for two bars, A minor, G. Then you've got a split bar, half a bar of C, half a bar of F. And then I think it's starting to have a bit more build up bars. G major, one and two and three and four and. So that's down strokes, eighth notes. Cool. So now we're on the third verse. Starts off the same, but again, you've got a few slight variations here. So third verse, you've got C major. Same string pattern that we've done in previous verses, F over C, C, G, okay, then C, F over C, and G down strokes, one and two and three and four and, carry on the down strokes, they've got a split bar here, one and two and three and four and, and you've got that uh, diminished um, chord. Okay, so that last, uh, the second line, again, if you cross-reference the song structure, second line of the third verse goes C. So one, two, three, and four, and F over C. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Again, it really creates that tension going up into the A minor now. So A minor, F over C, and C. And that split bar of G and G diminish again. One and two and three and four and A minor, F over C, split bar of C and F, one, two and three, four and, and then G, one and two and three and four and. Excellent. Um, cool. And don't forget you can slow down the walkthrough or any YouTube video by using the cog icon. If I'm playing too fast, you can slow it down. Uh, just using the cog icon on YouTube, so that will help as well. Excellent, so that's the third verse done. So now, third chorus. So the first eight bars are the same as you've done before, apart from the build-up bar you're gonna do on the last bar, okay? So it's pretty much the same, the third chorus, first half of it. F over C, C. F over C, so you do the F over C three times as usual. And then G. In the build up bar, one and two and three and four and it sets you up for another round. Okay, now the second half of the third chorus, one, two and four and C. F over C, now I'm gonna do a split bar of C to G sharp diminish. One, two and three and four and. That's how I'm strumming that and feel free to change it up. One, two and three and four and. Okay, and then A minor. F over C. G, two, three, and another build up bar, one and two and three and four and. Good, and now we are in the outro, okay? So in the outro, we've got basically a two, uh, two rounds of this eight bar phrase and then end on a C. The song does fade out, so you don't have to play that, all of that. It just means there's a kind of a proper ending. Okay, so basically got an eight bar phrase, C major, one, two, three and four and, F over C, C. And the split bar G to G sharp diminished, but just simpler strumming here, a bit softer. One, two, and three, four, and, but the other way would work. We've done before, just less harsh, a little bit sort of softer. So one, two, and three, four, A minor, 
F over C, then G, then the build-up bar one. You do that again, C, F, C, G, G double sharp diminished, A minor, F over C, G, one and two and three and then finish on a C. A nice and simple song. The electric is a little bit more varied, a um, bit more intricate pickings. So again, if you need uh, to check out the electric, head to jsmeetscore.co.uk, go in the Bruce store, you can either get it in guitar pro format, PDF format, which will allow you to have the, both the acoustic and electric parts, either in guitar pro format or PDF, uh, and all the backing tracks are there as well. So really hope you've enjoyed the video. Any questions, let me know in the comments section below, or feel free to let me know if you enjoyed the video. Or, it's a good song from um, Magic, so some really good songs on that album, uh, which is awesome. Okay, um, please hit, uh, hit that bell icon for the notifications of subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and any questions about subscribe star or, or the files on the shop, happy to answer any questions via email or via the comments. So thanks again, see you next time. Cheers, bye. <laughs> If you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the subscribe star page or my website, jsmusicscore.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much, see you on the next one.